going by. Ah, oh, there he is. Uh, good Smalley. What's up, guys? Oliver and I here. Welcome back. And I'm going to share with you a recently new favorite technique and lure style to target big smallmouth bass. That chunky little guy just clobbered a vibrating jig. Got a four inch swim bait trailer on there and we're fishing shallow and we're fishing fast. You can keep visual track on that white color, fish in the super clear water and just get these angry athletic fish to trigger and wham. He ate it twice actually. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing with this vibrating jig. We're gonna go do a little bass fishing. Let's talk about the system. Once again, we're making long casts. So the longer the rod, the easier it is to make those long casts to cover this water. Seven foot five, this is a medium heavy rod. A fairly fast taper, which I prefer for single hook applications. We've got an eight to one gear ratio reel here so I can really be efficient and keep this bait moving quickly without wearing myself out. And when these fish come up and eat this thing, it's in your best interest to just wind through the bite. Because what happens is if you try to swing to set the hook, you're creating all of this slack now that you now have to catch up with. And a lot of times that's all that fish needs to get away. So if you just wind through the bite and then turn, you're gonna hook the vast majority of these fish. Okay, we're using 50 pound eight weave braided line from Defiant tied to a 19.8 pound fluorocarbon leader from Defiant. Now you see my leader here is really short. And it started about right here earlier today, but we've been cutting it down every time I've tried a different color or a different bait. But that just goes to show with this style of fishing, it doesn't really matter. This high vis braid isn't spooking them in the clearest of clear. Okay, this bait has got them so fired up. And they're so hyper focused on that erratic action, all of that water displacement, a little bit of flash from the blade, the skirt pulsing, and that tail kicking that it really doesn't matter that I've got less than 10 inches of leader on here. Okay, so there it is. Half ounce vibrating jig, all white four inch swim bait trailer pick your favorite trailer of your choice but since we're fishing it fast make sure the trailer that you pick uh, doesn't make the bait roll or blow out and always make sure to rig it on there straight oh gosh the rebite <laughs> never give up according to mike mike and ellie did you guys see that i'm pretty sure i downsized but we went from a hooked up fish to having it shake off and then continuing to wind. And this spunky little smallmouth crushed it. Too much fun. How dope is fishing, huh? Since he got my trailer, I'm gonna show you guys how we rig up a little soft plastic swim bait. If you guys have been paying attention to this the last several videos, you're probably gonna see a recurring theme here with a jig head in essence and a soft plastic trailer and that's super glue super glue is going to help me keep that plastic trailer from ripping when those smaller bass are nipping at it it's also going to keep that soft plastic trailer in place it gives me another opportunity for a follow-up bite like you guys just watched. That was a prime example. Voila. Make sure it's rigged straight. We're off to the races. Oh, there we go. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Yes. Gosh, it's been a lot of work. Working these baits to trigger bites from these smallmouth, but oh my gosh, it's so worth it. Yeah, that's a big one. Like I'm telling you, that's a big one. <laughs> wow. Vibrating jigs.
that's what you end up with. That is why you should pick up that seven foot plus medium heavy rod, high gear ratio reel, vibrating jig, swim bait trailer, and wind the crap out of it. That right there. What a beautiful smallmouth. I'm Oliver Nye. I hope you guys are enjoying all the fishing content we're putting on this channel. I'm having a blast. Appreciate you guys tuning in.